Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mod Fault New Vegas. This is James Seth Lynch. And check out these digs, huh? 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 Pretty nifty, huh? Right, so apparently we're not quite done. We still have a few more things. Uh, I pretty much have a review for this mod ready, but I just want to make sure there's nothing left. I sorted out my inventory with the inventory sorter, which, uh, well, we'll, we'll get to that later. God damn, look at that snake. Ah, uh, you're a big and ain't you, fellow? Ah! Sexy is to me. Anyway, I sorted out my ammo. Switched out my guns. So you can actually see what gun I have. Got the caravan shotgun, the assault carbine, and my trusty revolver. The furniture and decorations look good. Look great. Yeah, I'm glad you like them. Ready to talk about the other improvements? That dealer's finally been able to find everything we talked about, and I got all the vouchers ready for you. Just pick up what you want when you're ready to buy something. They'll be right there on my desk. Huh. My healing station. Ooh, that door. Cool. That's cool. Uh, well, I guess there really isn't much. I guess we can get to the review now. So, time to review this mod. Now, we haven't been able to check all the stuff. Um, the auto dock looks nice, but um, we will see that later. Uh, I'm assuming they won't somehow horrifically screw those up, but uh, basically, uh, the house mod is good. It looks good. It's very has a nice feel to it. It's a little empty because I don't have everything. Just a few more upgrades to get. Uh, the quest is really nice. Uh, usually house mods, everyone hits house mods because like you just get them. There's not a lot of effort put into them in that uh, manner. What, now there's an ammo sorter? Really? Ah. There, I thought there wasn't an ammo sorter, so there's two sorters, okay. Okay, back to the quest. The, the quest, I really like that it has a quest, and it's a very long quest, but it's... It, it's good, um... There's lots of foraging quests, which I like. Uh, foraging quests are good rather than standard fetch quests. And it actually makes very, very varying lengths of, um... Uh, uh, very varying lengths. Not that you complete the quest from very, very long is actually if you haven't even fully completed it. Because you know the caps to get all the upgrades and whatnot. Uh, so that that's definitely very good. That's a lot of content uh, in this mod, and the way the mod handles everything with the changing cells, that's very cutting edge, I'd say. At least from what I understand, how it works. That uh, either way, it seems to be very cutting edge in how they do it, and yeah, the, the house mod, the house looks great. It's very, it's very good. It's, it's very lure friendly though. I wish they called that med, that healing station an auto dock. Toggleable, toggle, toggle, level lights. I mean, how cool is that? I love toggle lights. I uh, really. All house mods need toggle lights. They're, they're freaking awesome. Uh, and, and I love. I love that they're all on one switch. Okay, that is really cool. Because normally they overdo it where you have a whole bunch of different switches and you can't uh, go around flipping this stuff. And, uh, it's it's annoying, and crazy. 
But anyway. Um so yeah, they're they're the voice acting uh the the voice acting is good. Uh it's well it's decent. Uh there's no major real problem. Sometimes there the there's not a lot of emotion, but it's appropriate just the way they're talking and blah blah blah. And there's lots of good little quips and stuff like that, and they actually does a really, really good ghoul voice. I have to commend him on that, wh whoever's doing the voice acting. And it's all very fitting, the accents are very fitting, the way they talk is very fitting. Uh, so yeah, A plus on the voice acting, I'd say. Um, oh yeah. The Sims. The Sims system. Let's... I, I already sorted a bunch of stuff over there. Now, let's sort this stuff. Let's see if this will work. Sort. Loaded bench. Workbench. Ammo. Sort ammo parts. Sort ammo. Sort loaded bench. Sort workbench. Okay. Say I like the I like inventory sorters. Uh, like like these. Uh, doesn't really get everything though. Uh, again, just the mod stuff. I'm anyway, uh, I like them because you get that that clean feeling where you got everything put away more or less. And you don't have to worry if you're handling your inventory as optimized as you could be. Uh, it's very good in a hardcore game like this. Where I have to regulate my ammo weight and all that. And I, I very much like it. I actually have a problem because it didn't sort everything. But it seems it's just sorted to two terminals. Which is a little odd. But well, that's okay, but I really like that. Glad they programmed that in. Um, the the few problems that I have are the fact that the quests are too linear and too rigid. I I don't I know I don't mind that has that doesn't have branch paths, but you gotta do everything um, in a precise manner. There's no flexibility at all. It's extremely rigid. And I wish you could like pick up the solar panel and the little inversion coil in whatever order. Because I don't know. Or at least so it's logical so you'd pick up the solar panel which is easier to get first. I don't, I don't know why they had it set up that way. And again the, re the requirement six fission batteries and four conductors. Oh god that's... Yeah, uh, that that's uh, that that was really hard to get. We actually had to use it's another mod to free. to help us out with that. So yeah. Yeah. What else? Uh, what else? Uh, I had and and and, and some of the. The, the fetch quests in this game, while well, there aren't many, the locker one was really, it was really tedious. And I, I wish they could have worked that out the same way you got the furniture. Because um, cause that was a headache. Um, and I, I did not enjoy that part. Ah, cool bunks. Well, the house itself is very well done. Uh, I'd give this a solid... Uh, I want to say an 8. But I'm not really... I'm not really sure that's fair. Now, there's a little stuff here and there, but... I have really really 
really high expectations with um, this kind of stuff. I don't want to just be giving tens and nines and uh, stuff like that. It's a solid eight. It's a good mod. Uh, I highly recommend it if you don't want something over the top and you're actually going to work work for your house. Uh, the problem was it's a bit too much work. It requires a lot of travel uh, to the point where you'd have access to other house mods already. So it doesn't really give you uh, doesn't really there's no point to it being in Good Springs and it being accessible this early when at that point all you'd be getting is a bed. Um, you know, it, it's maybe some containers, but really, it, it just, um, yeah, it, yeah, an eight. It's a good mod. Uh, I recommend it. If this is, if this is the kind of just not too over the top, not too techy, not too, not too small. And you don't like the other house mods, and this is the play This is definitely the house mod you should be picking. Anyway, again, I give it a lot of high ratings on many of my mods, but that's because I only play with the best mods. That's sort of the flaw with it, so that's why everything seems to get a high rating. Been to Denver? Strange um, place. Everyone lives in the sky. But yeah. This one time, we get really drunk and one guy fell off. To be honest, I... I wouldn't play with anything that gets more than... A... Th that gets less than a six. Um... Because at that point... Because when mods are bad, they're really bad. And you I don't, don't play with bad mods because it but usually if shot and buried lends and left to instability, but I, don't think I do back. have some mods that I've never played before. Uh, and I have no idea what they're going to be like. And I don't know how stable they are, any how good their story is, anything. So, we will be seeing some some things like that. It's just, you know, they're uh, it just... Yeah. I only like playing with the best because playing when it's not the best is just painful at times. So yeah, that was uh, after school special. Hopefully they won't be sneaking it anything else into that really long quest. This has been James Seth Lynch, Niner, Juju, Kelsey Love, Veronica, and TJ. We will see you in the next episode.